I just want to say that it is an honor and a blessing to be married to Leah Cervantes for 10 years. I'm at Gen Con right now because she made the sacrifice to let me come. August 4th is our anniversary, our 10 year anniversary actually. I believe that I was not going to be able to come all year long because of the restrictions, but when I found out that I could get an exemption, uh, she encouraged me to go because she knew that it was, deep down it would make me happy to be here nerding out per se, right? But there was a letter I wrote to you, Leah, uh, on our wedding day, a letter of commitment. And I read it to you after we, we were wed, and I have a copy here I'm going to read to you. To my bride, I wanted to write you this letter of commitment and give it to you on the day we wed. Today I made a promise to you and before our families, friends, and God to love you no matter what. We are both imperfect people trying to make an imperfect marriage work. I love you because God first loved me. I learned that no matter what, no one else or no one gets married for a good enough reason. People get married because they are in love or other reasons. People fall in love for reasons like because they're charming, thoughtful, kindness, rich, and many more. But then what happens when we stop being those things because we all stop being those things? Do we give up and let our imperfect marriage fail because we want perfection? Nope, not me. I know now that love is a choice and all married couples make it or else it fails. Love is not a feeling. If we make it a feeling, then we do not care about the other person we say we love and only care about what will make us the happiest. Then what happens when we do not feel like loving anymore? Love is not a feeling, it is a sacrifice and a willingness to never give up. It is a choice. God says a bad tree is a bear bad fruit and a good tree bears good fruit. Good trees are pruned with care and love so they can produce more fruit and bad trees are cut down and thrown into a fire. God makes me a good tree by pruning me with love and care and I want to prune my bride's tree so together we can produce an overabundance of good fruit. I love you. I will choose to love you no matter what. I learned that people I learned that as people we could not love unconditionally unless we allow Jesus to live and love through us. I love you unconditionally because Jesus loves you through me and he wants to hold you the same as I. God wants to know you just the same as I. I love because God first loved me. Even when I did not deserve it. Once Jesus knows you, he will not let you go. He would not let me go when I almost gave up on him. He called me out and taught me how to love as he loves. I thank God every day because he gave me such a wonderful gift to share my life with you. I eagerly await for you and I am ready to hold you in my arms. I am committed to you and I will love you no matter what. When Jesus' disciples turned away scattering from him and refused him just before he was tried and crucified, it was Jesus that did not give up on them and continues to love them no matter what. I love you with all my heart no matter what. Love, Daniel Jose Cervantes. Leah, I actually have a copy of this folded and tucked under the corner of the game mat on the game topper for you. Happy anniversary and I love you and I can't wait to see you when I get back and hold you and give you kisses. All right, happy anniversary.